everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube or my Instagram if you are watching this on IGTV. I'm so excited that you are um, back here and I hope that today's video can be as informative as possible for anyone who has been kind of wondering which oil to choose when it comes to these three oils right here. So the oils that I have here to talk about today are Immunity Boost from Revive Essential Oils, Thieves from Young Living Essential Oils, and Germ Fighter from Plant Therapies Essential Oil line. And so the reason that I have these three here today is because these three oils are supposed to be dupes for each other. And so I kind of wanted to give my my personal opinion, my review on them, and kind of share a couple of facts about them as far as like how much each of them cost, um, how many mLs you can get them in, and um, which one I feel would be more worth your money. So the first thing that I want to do is kind of give you guys what um, I call, and a lot of us who deal with essential oils call, a smell pression. So at first scent or at first smell of these oils, um, are they truly comparable in their smell? Um, are there any hints of maybe one oil might be having a little bit more of something or and the other might have a little bit less of that? Um, I will say right off the bat that each one of these oils um, does contain the exact same essential oils um, in their blends, except one tiny little variation in one of them. Um, but I'm gonna go into that right now. So I'm going to start off with Immunity Boost. And the reason I'm starting with Immunity Boost is because it's actually the first one I ever owned. So I uh, got Immunity Boost back in May when I placed my first ever uh, Revive Essential Oils order, and it came in their basics kit. Um, immunity Boost, and I'm sorry if I look down, I'm just making sure that I get all the facts right for you guys in my notes. Um, immunity Boost is a 10 ml, it does come in a 10 ml. Uh, I believe that you can also get it in larger MLs on their Revive website, um, possibly in like the 30 ml as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I will leave the link directly to Immunity Boost um, down in the comments if you are watching this on YouTube. Um, and it also does come in a roll-on, so uh, which is pre-diluted from Revive, as well as I believe they're coming out with a foam soap and a uh, cleaner concentrate, but those have not been released as of yet. Um, Immunity Boost is a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary, and it is $14 for the 10 ml on its own. Um, I will say that early on, I was not a fan of Immunity Boost at all. Um, I didn't really enjoy the scent of it. I, though, am the kind of person that likes these kinds of smells like clove, cinnamon, and that during the fall, winter seasons, and I purchased this in May in the springtime. So <laughs> I really do associate scent with season and, you know, time of year. But um, now that we are in the fall months, even though I live in Florida and what is fall, um, I will say that um, it has definitely grown on me. Now, as with anything that has an ingredient list, um, usually the first ingredient at the top is what is most in that blend. So I'm going to assume the same thing uh, for these oil blends. So given that clove and lemon are at the top of the ingredient list, um, I'm going to naturally assume that this blend contains mostly clove and lemon. And then you get that cinnamon bark eucalyptus and rosemary kind of at the end there, like, or a bottom note. Um, so, $14 for a 10 ml um, immunity boost. Like I said, at first impression back when I first got it, wasn't a huge fan. It has definitely grown on me. And personally, how I've used it, I have put it into a cleaner um, spray that I created. Um, also, I had a very large blemish on my cheek and I made a roller using just immunity boost and some coconut oil and it honestly dried up my zit in like two days. Like, that's really good. Um, so those are my thoughts on immunity boost. Um, next up, I'm going to be talking about germ fighter. Um, germ fighter is the next 
oil that I picked up. So it's, I'm talking about in order of when I bought it. So I've got Immunity Boost around May. Germ Fighter I picked up, I wanna say around either the end of August or beginning of September, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but Germ Fighter is also a 10 ml. Um, they do look different in size, but it's just because um, Revive uses shorter, chubbier bottles and Plant Therapy uses taller, um, thinner bottles. But they are both 10 ml and the 10 ml uh, germ fighter um, comes in two different types. So you can get it regular or organic. The regular, which is the one I have, is $9.49. And the organic version is $9.95. Um, it also does come in a roll-on. Um, and you can also get germ fighter in various um, sizes. So you can get it in the 30 mil. I think it comes in like a 100 mil. Um, so definitely, again, I will leave that link down below. And also, shameless plug, if you have never shopped Plant Therapy before, I will have a link. The link down below will uh, give you $10 off your first purchase of, I believe, $20 to $25. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, the ingredients in Germ Fighter are lemon, clove, eucalyptus, cinnamon, cassia, and rosemary. So as you can see, in comparison to Immunity Boost, the order of the ingredients as how they're listed did change. So this one says that lemon is first and then clove, then it's eucalyptus, and then cinnamon, cassia, and um, rosemary. Also, Germ Fighter does have cassia in it, whereas Revive has cinnamon bark. So a quick little smell here for you guys. Yeah. Spoiler alert, Germ Fighter is my favorite one out of the three. <laughs> um, I wasn't going to tell you to the end, but it is my favorite. And I have a feeling that it's because I get a lot more of the lemon coming through. And even though personally I do not like cinnamon cassia on its own, I think it's way too sweet and almost kind of like gag inducing. Um, sorry if that's just too much, but I'm just trying to be honest. Um, I prefer cinnamon bark over cinnamon cassia, but I think that as far as in this blend with all of the other oils in here, it really complements it well. You do get a lot more of the lemon. You do pick up a lot of the clove and the cinnamon and the eucalyptus and rosemary aren't very strong in this one. So I'm wondering if that may be the reason why I like Germ Fighter over Immunity Boost, all right? And then lastly, my little baby Thieves, um, which I did receive the 5 ml of Thieves in my starter kit that I recently uh, got, I believe last Friday. Um, and so the Thieves 5 ml. So I did look up the price for Thieves and I don't know if you can shop the 5 ml. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that the 5 ml usually comes in most starter kits. Um, but when I did go on to look up the price for it, um, the Thieves 15 ml um, wholesale for the 15 mls of this. So it's five mls bigger than this guy. Um, for wholesale price, which meaning if you are a member of Young Living, you get wholesale price. Uh, 15 mils, once again, is $36.25. And if you buy it retail, meaning you are not a member of Young Living, it a 15 ml bottle of Thieves is going to cost you $47.70. Um, I... I'm gonna let you come up with your own <laughs> conclusion on that. I'm trying to remain as unbiased as possible, uh, but I will say that the ingredients in this are exactly the same as the ingredients in Revive's Immunity Boost. They are even listed in the exact, no, not the exact same. So it's a little bit of a swap. So, wait, is it? It is, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. So it, it, the ingredients are exactly the same and they are listed in the exact same order. So Thieves contains clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And Immunity Boost, clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. It's the exact same order, um, which is kind of bizarre to me because they don't smell the same to me. Yeah, no, like, I don't know what it is. I, I really can't put my finger on it but there is just a tiny, tiny, tiny difference between these two. I mean, they're both cinnamony and like lemony and <laughs> you know, but there is just something 
different about thieves and I, I honestly I can't put my finger on it because again they have the exact same ingredients um, and then all three are known for being oils that clean surfaces um, they are all oils that claim to purify the air if you do diffuse them and all of them are boost um, immunity boosting oils so if you put these in a roll-on um, you could do hand sanitizers with them if you're doing like DIY stuff um, they all three have a very rich and spicy aroma so I mean they are all very similar um, if I had to rate them in order of how I like them I would have to say definitely germ fighter is my favorite thieves is my second favorite and immunity boost is my last um, I, I don't know that that little tinge of difference in the thieves makes me really like it more than immunity boost but then germ fighter is still my favorite um, now thieves is like the oil in the young living um world community whatever you want to call it um they have thieves everything they have thieves hand sanitizer thieves cleaning products thieves uh, mints thieves um toothpaste thieves wipes like it is their it's their oil you know um i will say that i have tried the thieves hand sanitizer um so it is a blend of thieves and peppermint and i am obsessed with it um i i think it's amazing i was afraid that it would smell too cinnamony but it's very pepperminty and very very moisturizing for your hands um so thieves like seriously if if you'd like the smell of thieves <laughs> young living has everything in thieves um so but as far as the comparison video goes yes they are all very similar you do not need to own all three of them uh it of course depends on your price point um as far as price point goes um plant therapy is the best and most affordable option um i do not like to use the word cheap because it is not cheap by any means it's not a cheaply made oil i do love plant therapy and trust plant therapy um but for a 10 ml for 9.49 at regular or 9.95 at organic even if you get the 30 ml so you'll have more if you use it a lot uh, whether use it a lot for diffusing or for creating diys to clean your home um i'm pr i don't have the price in front of me but if it's 9.49 regular for 10 i want to say that the 30 ml is probably going to be somewhere between 13 to 16 dollars it's still a fraction of what it's going to cost you to get a 15 ml of thieves um literally half like half a 30 ml of this is going to cost you half of what the 15 of this cost um i hope that this video was as informative as possible i really want to be able to provide you all with unbiased honest and you know just true reviews and opinions about these oils i love being able to have all three i love being able to do this and share this with you guys um, so that you can make the best decision for you and your family um, and as always please make sure that you are doing your own research when it comes to using essential oils make sure that you are practicing safe essential oil practices um, uh, and i want to leave you with this final note uh, please keep in mind that um any one of these blends, they're not necessarily child safe. Um, plant therapy is known for always labeling their bottles um, with a child safe little label here. And these companies aren't necessarily known for that, which is why plant therapy continues to be my top company because they are all about they're all about safety in general but most importantly child safety and being a mom of a two and a half almost three year old i want to make sure that i'm using oils around him that are going to be safe for him to you know smell or potentially even touch um so just do keep in mind and as always do your own research Any questions please leave them in the comments down below and if you would like for me to review and share about a different oil that is common amongst these three brands, please let me know. Have a great day.